So, we've all been here, scrolling through the depths of our endless libraries, filled with humble bundles from the summer of 2013 that you picked up at just £7.27 to avoid the sh** tier games like B-Movie, The Game, or that Uncharted clone where the protagonist kind of looked like an oil painted version of Robert Downey Jr. You know the one. So one day, on a rainy Tuesday, I decided I was going to play my least played games in my reasonably sized Steam collection, and I discovered these beauties. When I discovered these masterpieces, the heavens roared, and the god said to me, Ah, oh, that's hot. You must play Fish Felix 2. And praise be to the Lord, as I was not disappointed. I was presented with a marvellous view. Such resolutions like 1024 by 768 exhilarating colours like blue, green, and sometimes grey. My cursor was a pointing finger. At this point, I was sweating profusely and couldn't contain my excitement. So I drowned the closest fish and I got my head into this puzzling puzzle game full of actual puzzles. Nice. But first, we hear the story. And by God, this is an intense story. We have three characters entered the mix. Big Fish, Little Fish, and Cardboard Crab. Just to set you into this deep lore universe, Vigil Crab is also a rap god of a biblical nature and has been kidnapped for possessing such ill rhymes. Dead Eye Dory and Trans Nemo are tasked with searching the deep depths of the deepest depths of Deep Town. Now the writing that takes place in this very complex story does mirror the likes of Saving Private Ryan and Finding You. The 2021 film that blasted the ratings and destroyed the box office that stars a handsome actor. Now, into the nitty gritty, the gameplay. It's hard to fault perfection, but these are the mechanics. You can move up, you can move down, right, and sometimes left. Definitely not Nemo is weak, and Max, also known as Knockoff Maldori, is strong, but he is fat, which he likes to whip every now and again. Bruh. But I would like to remind the audience, being fat is a serious disease, and if you think you may be affected, please contact your closest chicken shop to drown your sorrows in poorly cooked chicken wings dipped in gravy and weep into the bed you broke two years ago while sitting up too aggressively. So things started getting serious. I was using all my wit, cunning talent on advanced puzzle solving that I had learned and absorbed through my, my many years on planet Earth. I was moving up and down in every direction imaginable to complete these perplexing masterpieces. In the first level, I had to break a state-of-the-art gaming PC. I salvaged the RTX 3090 inside and lived happily ever after. scalpers! But it's time for us to try to move on and learn. Despite all the odds being stacked against me, I pushed on to the next puzzle. After some gentle cyberbullying on Fat Max, the game threw a curveball with a mind-blowing mechanic. Switching characters. After realising Rockstar should be sued for blatant plagiarism, I used this incredible new ability to traverse the terrain. This is what ensued. As the levels increased in difficulty, I used 100% of my smooth brain to push through, and in the meantime, I discovered a new button. R, which meant re-fart. <laughs> Sorry, I actually meant restart. Sorry for my toilet-based humour. Now, after several restarts and several mind-boggling levels, I finally reached the end. Now, what this end had in store for me, I did not know, but by the power invested in Fat Maldori, I was going to find out. When I loaded into this devilish level, I knew my lyrics had been reached, but like Frodo against Smeagol, I battled on. Exhausting every muscle in my feeble body, I knew I had to reach the end. Every strategy I tried wasn't working. I tried pushing the extinguisher, not pushing the extinguisher, pushing it a little bit. Nothing was working. I went back to the drawing board, I consulted the big brains and we devised an excellent plan. Step 1. Lift up the phone. Step 2. Step 3. Profit. Now to put this plan through its paces. So we got to work. Trans Nemo lifted the phone and in an extraordinary display of perfect accuracy and agility. We defied the laws of nature and performed the classic switcheroo. Now with Fat Max holding the reins, we were unstoppable. Using all of his unwieldy might, Max assumed the position. As Little Fish approached with unrelenting force, who knew what the significance of this moment really meant? Millions of years of fish evolution, finally reaching its peak performance, a ripple in time. The phone was pushed, and pushed, 
and pushed until there was no more runway. With the largest stroke of luck ever seen in the universe, it lands directly in a hole, creating some kind of bridge-like effect which is still studied today by the top bridge engineers of the world, like Tony Stark two Iron Man references by the way. Once the impeccably strong stepping stone was in place, Big Fat Max could push the CO2 fire extinguisher off of the hippie van, thus creating the perfect escape for him and his confused buddy. After floating out of frame, I knew at that moment I had done it. I had completed a task no one knew was possible. As I relish in an outstanding achievement among mankind, I see it. It was just the tutorial. So I loaded up this level and jumped on this fish's head and alt forward.